Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seagate Alexandria, and we are coming to you with some affordable eyeshadows today. Whoa, bam! You see all these? I'm really excited to do this for a couple of reasons. One, they are from a brand called LA Girl. They recently released these two new palettes. It is the Smoky Palette and the Neons Palette, and I will give you a close-up of the shadows, which um, I wanted to mention to you guys real quick. I obviously swatched them off camera, and I know that there is like this huge thing that goes around about like, you should always swatch on camera so we know you're not lying and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you either have to find a YouTuber or someone that you trust or that you don't, because quite frankly, you can lie on camera camera just as easily as you can off of camera so if you don't think you can trust my swatches or my opinion or whatever about anything then I'm probably not the youtuber for you anyways I swatch off camera a because it takes forever and B because I like to feel them so I can tell you how they felt after I already swatched them and not like oh this one feels this way this one feels that's so redundant to me and ridiculous I don't enjoy it um, so this is how I do a lot of my palette reviews and it saves time on the video so we can actually put them to the the test on the eyes use them and all that good stuff so as long as you guys don't mind that's how I'm gonna do it um, the first one that I swatched and went through was the smoke palette now these do not have any kind of shade names to them either on the palette or on the back so you kind of just have to go with what you get um, again I'll give you an up close but that is this palette and then on the flip side we had the neons palette which is this big old sexy beast and I gotta be honest that is some intense color and then it obviously corresponds with this right here so these palettes each retail for $7.99 a piece which is pretty freaking affordable as long as the shadows are decent and they do come each with one of these brushes it is a flat paddle brush on one side and then one of those weird old style things uh, like puffer eyeshadow brushes that you would have used from Claire's in like you know third grade and felt like a princess uh, one of those on the other end um, I really wish that it had like I would even settle for like two paddle brushes but like for me this applicator thing is useless um, but I also understand that the palette is $7.99 so I don't want to be hypercritical of that um, they obviously do not come with any kind of a mirror it is just a reflective strip oh I lied they do have a mirror I, did, I thought that that was nothing but it's actually a little tiny mirror oh <laughs> well color me wrong okay um, and then what was the what other thing that I want to mention can't remember doesn't matter let's move on so I'm gonna give you guys the up close we will look at each palette up close all the colors and all that good stuff and then we will start putting them on my face first thing we are going to do is give you an up view a close view rather of this palette and keep going I'm gonna give you guys the up close versions and then I will talk about them after Then here is the Neons palette that got swatched a little crooked. Sorry about that, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? Somehow they started off a little straight and then they just went real crooked. All right, eye time. <clears throat> Now, before I bust into the eyes too much and like actually start applying them, A, I have already primed and prepped my eyelids, so we're good there. Um, I did my brows pretty bold today because I was like, look at these colors. Like, I have to go bold, right? Um, and I've already mentioned they are $7.99, and as I was applying them, this one, the which it's called the Smoke Palette. To me, these are like very fall, deep, like nice auburny kind of just ball colors I absolutely love them to me this screams like let's have fun let's go to a rave it's summer you know it, it's definitely or if you just really love bold bold color looks on the daily um for me you guys know like this is definitely my wheelhouse right here I love deep burnt beautiful tones but I'm also not adverse to some gorgeous like neon happiness so um, I'm not exactly sure what look I'm going for I almost put lipstick on and then I didn't because I was like what if eyes speak to me and then I hate the lip color so I didn't put anything on yet because I just I'm too crazy for that um I wanted to talk about these as I was swatching them what they first felt like on my hands um, as I was going through I have to be honest the smoke palette for me was a little rougher than the neons palette um it was a lot chalkier and from the up um 
up close shot, you can probably tell that the color payoff was not as intense as they are in pan. I mean, in pan, they are beautiful, but anything can be beautiful in pan and then not swatch or apply beautifully. And a lot of these swatches on this arm, like I actually had to go in two or three times to build up enough color that it would even pick up on camera, which is so sad to me. Um, but I, again, they're a budget, a friendly, affordable, I get it. Um, and I'm not so much dogging on that, but I like to look at as a shadow, is it quality, is it not? You know, if that's the case, I could say that the carroty ones are this or that because they are super highly pigmented. They are great shadows and they're also affordable. So I, I always try to keep money in the back of my mind, but at the end of the day, like, are the shadows decent? I believe that if you are on a budget and, you know, say you've only got eight bucks and you can get a whole palette and it's beautiful and it's what you want and you can build those colors to be what you want for eight dollars, then why not? If it's what you can afford, it's what you can afford and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I have to be honest, of the two, this one was a lot more chalky and like harder to, I don't want to say work with, but it definitely took a little more work to get to a color that I liked. The neons, on the other hand, they pretty much went on like one swipe. We were doing okay with color. These are very... Uh, I would say that these are probably one and a half to two times the pigment that these ones are. Um, and they are just some of the most beautiful shades. I love some of these, like these ones right up in here, I think would be beautiful for like a, a fun Easter look or anything like that. Like there's definitely use for this palette throughout the year. Um, but again, on the daily, not so much something I would reach for, but still very nice. And they were again, creamier, both to the touch and to the swatch and pigmentation was all around a little bit better on this one than it was on the smoke palette. So with that being said, I am going to start kind of going going in. I might go in between both palettes. I haven't really decided. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of winging it. So I figured we're going to obviously have to have some kind of a crease shade. So we're going to be in this bad boy right in here. I should probably keep it upright in the way that I actually did my swatches. Um, need a crease brush. Where's my crease brush? I think I'm going to start off with this brown one down here. It is the fourth one from the end. So this, and do you see how dark that appears in pan right there? And then how not dark it was like in the, I just, you know, it was a lot of that. Like, wow, this is going to be really dark. And then I put it on and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, that seems insane to me. Like I just double and triple checked. That really dark chocolate is what produced like this really, what's a really long swatch now. That's crazy. Okay, but that's the one we're going to go in with first. Um, it also appears to be a shimmer in pan. And then as I put it down, because it was such a thin color, it actually didn't look super intense. Wait a second. Wait a second. We got a problem. Does it irritate anyone? Do you see how that is like pulling like a gray undertone and it is super dark in pan? Come on. In pan, it is definitely brown. And then on my arm, it's like a light brown. Come on, focus. On my arm, it's light brown. Okay, one, two, three, four, right here. One, two, three, four, dark brown. And now I'm getting like dark gray. And it really does look like that in real life. Like sure, they blended out okay. I was able to diffuse it with this other light color up here. But it is pulling gray, like a dark gray. That is not what I wanted. Okay, well. That pretty much sets the tone for the rest of my eye. Um, can we incorporate any of these fun colors? How do we feel about maybe using, oh, where's it at? Maybe using this like bright blue right here. How do we feel about maybe popping some of that in the crease? Trying to like lighten up the situation because honestly, at this point we have nothing to lose. And yes, if you're curious, I did go ahead and I cleaned my brush off in my little, um, I got one of these from Sephora. It's the color switch uh, thing. Where's it at right here? It's literally just like a Brillo pad in a cup and you just swirl your brush around, but it does clean off the product. So it works really well. I've used this a hundred times, never had any issues. So let's go ahead and go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So seven is this blue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is right here in pan. Just so we're all on the same page. Wow. Color payoff. Can you see that? Holy bejesus. Let's knock some of that off. Whoa. Okay, guys, that blue went on a little bit wow. So I'm just going to go in with a plain, nothing on it, fluffy brush and see if I can kind of blend that out a little, maybe diffuse it. And as I was doing this, I got inspired. I know how we're going to finish this eye look off, and it's going to be cute. All right. I think that that helped quite a bit. 
I know it probably doesn't look like it on camera, but I needed to like really move and manipulate those shadows because that blue is very intense. Um, but I think what I want to do is on the inner corner, I actually want to go in with this silver white combination up here these two or these two in pan um, I think that that will look absolutely beautiful and to do it I thought it would be cool if we used their paddle brush Whatcha? so I'm going to wet this bad boy and dive in just gonna wet it with a little bit of some setting spray why do I keep going out of focus hello <laughs> hi we got the brush good and wet we also got our feet good and wet that was refreshing we're gonna go in with this silver shade here. Ooh, that is intense, all right. Okay, a little something like that, just to lighten it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the other brush that came with the other palette. So we have another clean paddle brush. We're gonna spray this one. And then we're gonna go in with this white shade up here and see if we can kind of lighten this whole eye look up just a freckle, because it is pulling a little Mimi from Drew Carey for me. Okay, a little something like that. And now we're just going to go ahead and grab a clean, fluffy brush here and blend the edges. I also do want to take some of that white shade and I want to pop that on the inner eye and the brow bone. Okay, now real quick on the bottom lash line, I kind of want to do something a little bit fun, different. I don't know. I'm just feeling it. I want to run this hot pink. Come on. This hot pink right here, I just want to run that on the lower lash line because I think that that's going to look really fun. And it's the weekend. Why not be fun? Okay, guys, um, give me one second. I'm going to zoom out and show you the finished product with, like, lashes and everything on because that's how I want you to see it. So give me one second, and I will emerge a butterfly. Okay, guys, I went ahead and I finished up the eyes, and I added a touch of the black down here from the neons palette i added just a touch of that on the outer part so you could kind of you know pop the eye just a little bit more um and i have to say overall if i have to like review rate these shadows which is obviously what i'm doing in this video um I don't think that they're bad for the price. I think $7.99 is a very nice price point. If you're someone that is wanting to get into eyeshadow to experiment with it, you're not sure if you like it, or if you're just wanting to like get into a more fun palette, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, I think that this might be a good alternative to that. Um, the only thing that I do have an issue with between these two palettes, and I could definitely see it being an issue going forward, is that, remember that very first shadow that I put on my eye, uh, this brown shadow right here how it went on and it was gray and I don't know if that was just a fluke if maybe there was like fallout from another shadow on that pan but that really threw me for a loop I was going for like a nice brown more neutral colored eye today and it definitely did not go that route um, and a lot of that was because that crease color just I don't even know where that came from so I think that the, and don't get me wrong they blended very well there was minimal fallout which I was really happy about the only uh one that had more fallout if you will was the white shade that i used from the neon that i kind of blended from the inside out and i think that a lot of that fallout was just because i was really packing it on with a wet brush that's not uncommon um so the fallout wasn't even that bad from these they were very you know silky to work with these ones the neons were silkier like i said before but i would just be cautious of using them going forward especially for myself um and just i kind of need to work with them a little bit more before I can tell you if the pigment is right. I honestly think that this one, the brown that I put on that turned gray, I think that might have been a fluke. Um, somehow, I'm not sure how because I'd already swatched them, but that is neither here nor there. Um, so I'm actually not going to say yes or no on these until probably a later date. Just kidding, me again. Um, I'm sorry, I probably look a little rough. I just like had a long day. I've been taking, I took my makeup off because I didn't want it on anymore, but I wanted to pop back on at the end of what will be this video where I talk to you guys about the LA Colors, or the LA Girl, the LA Colors, what? The LA Girl um, palette release. And I wanted to, now that I've played with them a little bit more, kind of give you guys a little bit more of my thoughts about these. Um, I know in my video from like, or my previous footage that I filmed, that one of the things I had mentioned is that, hey, you know, it's good um, if you're working with it, yada, yada. Um, I just wanted to come back on and give you guys a little bit more of what I've experienced working with these. Um, the first thing is that other than not necessarily like these these have not been true to pan or true to color for what 
I thought as I mixed them together, meaning they did not hold their, I don't want to say they didn't hold their color, but basically that's kind of what happened. You know, you mixed, um, I think, what were the two colors? I ended up mixing one from this palette and then one from this Neons palette together. And I, what I ended up with was like that same like smoky, weird gray color. And I can't help but wonder if that's just because they're like lower quality quality and their pigments don't stand alone. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being affordable. Obviously, I love affordable products. It's kind of my jam. But I don't like it when you can't use two colors and still have them both look like two colors that came together instead of some muddy color. Now, I feel like too in that the look that I created in this video that you're probably watching um, that gray look. I personally don't like those muddy gray looks because I feel like they do weird things. They're not flattering on my eyes. I don't really know that they're that that particular color is very flattering on anyone just because it looks like a muddy gray color. Um, also, after I was done filming that, um, it was probably like four hours in. I also wanted to note that the, you know how I had put like that white section on the inside of my eye to kind of open them up and try to make them look more open, more awake. And that white, what was supposed to be like a white shimmer, this shade up here, it ended up being more what's the word like just a white film at at the end of the day like it wasn't it wasn't even an eyeshadow and these shadows they just it, basically what i'm trying to say is that they do not wear well they're good to play with they're good to experiment with i mean i think that you'll probably for that purpose you'd probably get more out of the neons palette just because if you're like wanting to practice um a really exciting cut crease or like a really flamboyant color or like you know maybe kids makeup or something like that these would be fine you definitely get more use out of this palette of the two palettes, I do think the Neons one is a little bit more higher, like high quality if, if I would. Um, I Because I feel like all of these colors, they all blend down and create the same muddy shade. Um, so originally I had said, you know, under this circumstance or this circumstance, I would recommend them. Now that I've played with them a little bit more and I've worked with them, I can't say that I would recommend them to you guys. And just based on the experiences that I have had with them, trying to blend them out, trying to make them work together, um, even like one shade working or one palette working within itself and then this palette working within itself, I wasn't able to make them be cohesive. The colors were not able to be put together. And um, I didn't want to just put out that review and, you know, the video as it was, it was fine. It gave you literally my first impressions, but I just didn't think, I didn't sit right with me that if I haven't published it already, I wanted to add on this tail part, you know, take all my footage aside, kind of go through it, do this, take that extra step and then publish it for you guys because you're worth the extra step, honey. So um, those are just a little bit extra thoughts for you guys. I know that now this video is probably really long, um, but that's okay. At the end of the day, like you guys know what you're getting with me. I I talk a lot. <laughs> so um, I didn't have any makeup on. I just took it off, but I did want to just kind of come to you guys and tell you some more thoughts about these because like I said, I've had enough time to really work with them. Um, I think that they're a good starter place. I think that they're good um, as far as starter makeup or kid makeup even or something like that. But I just, for an adult that's looking for something, there are so many better affordable options. I mean, the two of these together, what these are, $7.99 a piece, so eight together. So together they are $16 total, and you can get a Carity palette. Um, I think that one of their palettes is like $29. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but the quality is insanely better. Um, Carity is that as a brand that I've talked about several times. Where is that one palette? The one I'm mainly referring to, I mean, their smoke palette is great. It's got a lot of those same rich colors and some of the demure colors. Um, and this is a great affordable option for really high quality shadows. Um, as far as drugstore, I think that you'd be better off. I Like, honestly, my brain goes to so many other palettes. Like, there's not even just one I would pick. But if I had to, I'd probably say Makeup Revolution. They have got some great, great pigmented creamy eyeshadows that are super super affordable they have a huge array of like little mini palettes that you could go with and those are super affordable as well um they're right around this price point actually they're also available at alta so if you're in the market for something like this and you're looking for you know good shadows and you're an, you're an adult that wants to kind of play with adult shadows that's probably the route i would take you for the affordable side um i just 
I don't, I don't think that an adult is going to enjoy these as well. I think that they'd be fun for a kid. I think that they'd be fun for someone who's learning and, you know, that kind of thing. But I just, the blendability isn't there. They don't work well with each other. Um, I just, I can't recommend them, you guys, after I've played with them. So if, you know, if you feel like the first part of this video and now the second part kind of contradict each other, I apologize. But I just didn't think it was right to put that video out into the world and then let you guys go buy these and be like, wow, Paige, these shadows, and they just, they don't last on the eye. That was the other thing. I ended up looking at myself like at the end of the day and I was like, oh my God, like these shadows look like crap. And they just, they wore down and the, it just, nothing, nothing went well with them. Like whether or not I even used like my really good, uh, my uh, glitter glue, my Too Faced glitter glue, which I use all the time. I swear by it. Um, I use my Smashbox primer, which is fantastic. Like I was using very good products with these to try and keep them together and to really give them like the best shot that they had and at the end of the day nothing worked with them whether it be pigment longevity creasing i mean just the problems everywhere like there was nothing really good that i could say about them and at the end of the day with there being other of uh, very very affordable products that are really stepping their game up these guys really failed the test for me so for real this time, <laughs> I am done talking about these, you guys. I will let you end this video because it is probably painfully long and quite frankly, you're probably out of popcorn and you probably needed like a three course meal to get through this video. So I will talk to you guys all later for real this time. Bye. I got to do it twice. <laughs> Bye guys.